Hi, I'm Sam McGuire. I'm going to walk you through the process of converting files from stereo to mono and how you do that and a couple different ways of doing it. This is something that if you're using sound effects and you pull them in and they're stereo, you think it'd be really easy just to convert to mono and it is, but there's a couple tricks that I want to show you and things that you can do to make it even easier and so you can understand the process. So first of all, I'm going to pull up a file here. Let's pull it right on. Okay. So we're here in a multi-track project, which means we have multiple tracks. And that means that we're going to be limited with some of the functionality we can do. For instance, if I select this file, go to the process menu, some of these items are going to be grayed out because you can't actually do them in a multi-track project. So if you're here and you have this file and you say, well, I want to convert this to mono, you can't do it from this area here. Two ways to do this. Number one, we can actually double click on it. That pulls it into its own audio file project. And now we can convert to mono. We can also choose between what we want to do with it. We can use the left channel, and this will become the mono file. We can use the right channel only, or we can combine the two so they get mixed together to form a new one. So if we use left, OK, and it says converting to mono requires that the file be flattened, OK. And now it becomes a mono file. You'll see as the progress goes through there. Recreates the waveform. And we come back out here, it is now mono there as well. So I can still undo at this point. I haven't saved it. But I want to show you one other thing we can do here. Because if we go and we don't want to leave our multi track project, we can also come down to the file editor double click and it selects both left and right channels. Now if I hold the command key, I can deselect one half of that. So this one's the one that's selected and this one is no longer selected. And what that allows me to do is now come up here to file, say new file from selection. So this is another way to pick it exactly as well. So now I've got this file here. If I save this, I can save it as an audio file project or A for wave, save. The minute I do that, I go back into our original and let's look at the bin because I left this untitled two open. Untitled two is right there. I can now simply drag this out and it's a mono file. So you see there's a couple of different ways to do that. The reason why I do like going here file editor and using the command key to select different areas is because if you have a multi-channel file, like a surround sound file with six channels or more, this is a great way to just extract one or two or just a couple different ones out of there without having to necessarily dissect the whole thing. And you're instantly saving it as a new file. So that puts it in a new place so it's non-destructive, doesn't hurt your original file. So a really easy way to do that.